take Roche. Optic's gonna have to just go through for kills into Roche's. Or into Ob's uh, objectives. Have you guys all said Optic? Unclear. Well, well Giannis tried to say OG earlier. <laughs> we shot that. Let me go with the NA team here, guys. The, the other lanes are not gonna be easy either. You've got an SF versus Quap 1v1 and a. Edge versus Bat 1v1, two lanes in theory, Optic. He's doing great, though. He's gonna win, though. He's gonna get first Side may go down here, his move. Hits him in, one more auto attack. Oh, he's got this. With a creep, he gets the Over kill. Venom. Over Venom, first item. The uh, bench. Yeah. This is for gold, just to be surviving in the top. First lasso, commitment here as they try to bring down Mood. Three heroes on the edge. They will okay. get the kill. Yeah, so a nice movement by Optic. I think it's top because it's a bat rider. The only other option is to fall back into the jungle, which you kind of want level six for. Now the pressure is starting to ramp up from Optic, but Zai has to respect these imps. Gonna let me know what move wow. can do. They force the SF to TP out, and that does give the Queen of Pain. Just drag them around the map at their will. They'll try to make a move here on PPD. Good roll in from Z3. Gets off the silence. Boulder Smash coming through, and the Wyvern will go down. No save available. Complexity getting on the board. First kill of the game. Okay place to be. Give the lane to the Earth Spirit so he can get his level 6. Ooh, it's roasting here. Snowball coming through. Fire combined and the shards blocking off the path. Five. Napalm stacks up and he will go down. I'll pick get second here. Like, like how, just how early can they go for it? They can get the full combo here or not? They'll get CCNC. Nicely done. He gets a blink off. Maybe losing Z Freak as the trade, the Earth Spirit will go down a little more. Chip damage from Optic, but we go through like acres. Like, yeah, I pretty much built them. They did rotate yeah. them. This is a good rotation. They are going to look to defend this bottom lane. Maybe get some kills as well. Chessy punched up, low, and will fall. Moo, though, getting cursed. Wasn't able to find the PPD kill. Now they can turn their attention back for the edge, but she is tanky. They'll need some magic damage to bring her down, and they have it. Lexity get punished. She melted. Oh, it's gonna be careful here. Let's get bursted. They're gonna dive deep for Soxa. Silence comes through. Kyle with the crush, but follow-up damage is lacking as the Sigil gets him back to safety. And now the lasso oh. opportunity. Looking to drive the Shadow Fiend right over the cliff, and he will pop quickly blown up. They need some retaliation here. They'll get Zai. <laughs> but they've lost their SF. The Really, the key. Their three course have like initiation or kill potential yeah. in that sense. Like they, they have damage output, but they need the setup from the support. So once you don't have blinks. This could be the start of a bottom push there now. Go. Good smoke by Complexity. They'll get that yeah. kill. They should go mid. It's Oxa. Let's see where they go next. Hunting through the trees. Kyle wants PPD. Can he find him? PPD flapping away. He senses something. This tier one and Moo will get jumped as well. Lasso coming through. The whole team's still bottom. Still trying to get that first tower and Moo. And a lot of danger here. The heal, though, keep him alive a long time. Boulder Smash coming through. They get off the Crows of Haze. Can they bring this Batrider down? The Amps just keep coming in, and boo, rains in the damage, but they lose Kyle in return, and the tower will drop. Both mid. For the five man against this Batrider, so scary. You'll just die. Yeah, Zai's been doing a very good job this game on the bat. After pick. I think that dive mid was a bit too ambitious, though. I agree. Like, if they just hit the mid tower, doesn't it just die? Yeah, I think they. I think that. Which is, like you said, a bit of a feels bad man. Yeah, I was trying to make a move here, but the Yule Scepter. Now a crouch coming through. Follow from Z Freak, looking to lock this Queen of Pay down, and CC and C will be punished. She used the slot there very slowly. Optic is coming, but there was a Radiant scan there, I believe, for a split second, and now Complexity getting off the two hero curse. Shadow Fiend taking some heavy damage. The shards come through, blocking the path left to BKB Requiem on nothing, just to make it back to safety. Ooh. They should chase. Yeah, they should. I mean, oh, they, they have a blink glass, so they're yeah, gonna they're find the drown. Really, Chessy back in. No saves available. Nothing really. It's like goes for the TP out the Yules to interrupt it. And Chessy likely to go down. Meanwhile, up near the shrine action also break out, but the PL PL has an escape plan. Jumps back to safety. Roche denied. Optic gonna try for it themselves. Let's see. Pulls down, and he might not even have a chance to get it off as the bat. Jumps in, play breaks his back, lift just gets roasted down. You see how quick he dies without the BKP. The Optic tusk. dancing around the pit, but they're not actually going for the roast. They're catching complexity heroes, fleeing, kind of roaming around the neighborhood. Z Freak gonna be next as Optic continues to gain steam here. They've got me down. Shut down here. Optic. Fully assume control of the game now. 
they get into the dire jungle. They're also gonna catch Z-Freak on what looks like a warding mission. Punish him. Towards. May set up a, a good pick-off one now they've got the blink, but well. Oh man. I'll pick finding one pick after the next. They're easy kill. It really goes that five minute unit. And part of that's moves on an edge. Like they banned out Tide Omni. They, he's not really on that five minute unit. Kyle trying to be the, that yeah, one man unit and yes. might just be a gift for Optic to barely make it out. So, but you they last man Weaver. Uh, Good lasso here as Zai reels in the edge again and Mu gets shredded. Optic, the five man gank squad keeps on rolling. A minute. They will find PPD though. This is a gift. Complexity set up. Position expecting that TP in the find one, but the turnaround comes through. CCNC trying to finish off Limp. Forces out the BKB. Soxa rolling forward. Tried to shard trap him and just couldn't quite catch him, but nonetheless, the chase continues in earnest. Z Freak likely to go down here. Scream and he'll take the bullet. Shadow Fiend still on the run, but it seems like meanwhile. they've caught him as well. And meanwhile, Pycat in the base. Who's going to deal with this man? Three heroes have fallen. All of this just for PPD's lowly side position. Oh, he's shooting them with the illusion on Kyle. <laughs> Does bring the tower down, keeps on surging forward, working on the range racks. Now the whole optic gaming squad aside from the Wyvern. Yeah. Into position. This might just be a full lane of racks. I think Pike can't play this game actually perfectly. I didn't see him make any mistakes. His movements, just how aggressive he was playing, his choices. Like he didn't go over aggressive either with Zai a couple of those times. I was actually very impressed with Pike at this game. Yeah, I think Soxa too won on the game. Yeah. Like probably more than anyone on the map because you can't protect him. Yeah. Anytime he goes to a lane, you have to try lane with him because any of the heroes are liable to kill him by themselves. CNC caught out here, but they can't just bring the speed of pain down. The Yules interrupts, turns the fight. The Batrider doing massive damage over the top. Chessie will melt, and now on to Moo. Perplexity being routed. Their backlines in shambles, too. Make it three down. All day. Perplexity just getting rolled over. Supports. It, it's such a different game if they have that carry that can 1v1 bat, because then their supports can actually roam. You have like an edge offline who can actually 1v3 the lane or 1v2 it. You can roam to help your SF, likely get kills on the Queen of Pain, you can get kills at top with your rotations, but the supports for Cole had very little to no impact. I mean, the Weaver things. the Weaver was banned, obviously, like you guys have mentioned, Lifestealer, who does well against Batrider, probably struggles against some of the other heroes, with, with a better cat. Like, oh shit, this is actually really problematic for, for Cole. This is really problematic for Mu. Lasso pulled into the midst of the whole squad. He's now turned against his own Shadow Fiend with a good curse. As this have brought down quite low. Still in the front line. Very healthy is that PL. But a decent Requiem here might get the CCNC kill. Taking the magnetized damage on a blink away. Just kiting them out. And Lip just can't hit anyone during this chase. It feels like finally Optic will let him out of his misery. They get the kill. That's four dead. And BG is called. Time of death, 30, 31. One more time. Damn. Brutal. Optic Optic made the right moves this game, though. I like their movement around the map. I think Cole just... Their lane's just...